Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Walkley Wanderers. We've made changes to the first team for the first time in this series, I think. Significant changes and I want to run you through them before the season begins. The season where we finally get through the Northern Counties East Football League Premier Division. So Johnson is now a left winger, rated 32 overall. Changing positions as well, so if you see any differences in overall, that probably... Where it is, Pickering's gone to a right wing, or he's gone up by one overall because of that. Midfield, defence remain the same. Obviously, goalkeeper has been changed because Miles Loft has moved away from the club. And we bring in this new player. The only guy who's got the correct age attached to him. Everybody else now is significantly older than what we're seeing. 24 overall goalkeeper. I did a randomizer between 20 and 35. We could have had a wonder kid coming out of our new youth academy. Not this year. I'm not gonna lie, like the confidence is completely shot in this team. We should have been promoted two seasons ago. But this first team gives me hope. Hope that there is a brighter future out there for Walkley Wanderers. My brain's so fried I completely forgot our opponents. No promotion this time around and it's guaranteed that we lose a player. I don't want to be stuck in here forever. Seems like my torch is on. <laughs> Is it just me, or does this grass texture look a bit funny? Man, if they have changed it, that's such a nerd thing to notice. Oh, the grass texture's different. Oh, curse of these grass textures. Gonna be interesting to see what Johnson can do out wide. Or is it gonna be Crookside's job? He is tireless. That might be an idea. Tackle batters me! Take someone out! It's an overlapping run by our central midfielder, Jason White. We'll get the throw in there, I think. Batters is gonna get a yellow card, what a surprise. Finally, opportunity emerges for Walkley Wanderers to attack. With that corner kick nodded on by Joshua Fisher, but defended well. Danny Crookside with a simple ball inside. George Pickering, yes! Finished by good old George! No ifs, no buts. Promotion very much in our hands. Oh, heavy touch by Danny Crookside. No midfielders now. Defense have to step up a little bit to put that pressure on. That's a foul. Thank you very much. Referee spotted that. Probably a yellow card here or nothing. A 22 yard or free kick accuracy. Decent on Sammy Birch. Right footed as well. Got to be steady with the control up. That's pretty steady. Come on, Sammy Birch! No. Niall Johnson trying to cut inside. Causing a few issues here and there, which is promising. Seems like we got auto focus on the webcam. Just give me a second. Right, let's save that up. Okay, no blurry face from now on. Score's looking good. At the start of the second half for Walkley Wanderers. A 1-0 lead at the moment. Sammy Birch nearly powering through. That is a good ball there. They could play it across. JJ has stood up to the challenge. Well done. First team goalkeeper now needs to be pulling off save like that. George Pickering. Ball! Oh, just a bit wide. Must have been a deflection on the Johnny Yates header. Oh, I nearly dropped for Joshua Fisher in the box. Is George going to be on the move? George Pickering, what a ball. Jay Waters has put it on the plate for him. Get into the box. Oh, not even a corner. Oh, Ooh, Jay Waters apparently won that fair. Keeps on going. He's a fantastic player. Sammy Birch. Oh. Jason White's coming off for William Lamptey. Who else have I got on that bench? Drink water for Yates. Battersby's got that yellow card. He'll be replaced by Ruben Hartigan. He does have a bit more stamina than the wing back. Please find that ball in. Yes! Oh, Sammy Birch didn't go for it. No, it's not. It's Jack. Drink water and headers. What a surprise. Sammy Birch, bike heel. It's William Lamptey. Mm, probably shouldn't have shot. Oh, he might drop. Jack Drinkwater almost creeping in. Scoreline is looking wobbly, man. 78 minutes gone. Two defenders out there to try and stop this cross going in. Now into the central positions. Lamptey acting like a defender now. Jay Waters narrow. Out. Joshua Fisher with the chest control. Played. Empty stamina, Niall Johnson. Jack Drinkwater to Sammy Birch, who... Tries to hold it up as much as he possibly can. This has been a close encounter to the midfield. Danny Crookside, why? Danny Crookside's passing has been pretty spot on. Long range passing at least. 
Corner kick. Drop down Niall Johnson. Yes, Luke Tate's going to have an effort. Still Luke Tate with the ball. And that'll waste a bit more time for Walkley Wanderers. Little skill pass. Could still go to Sammy Birch in the end. Take a shot. Kills the game. That's 1-0 Walkley Wanderers at the end of it. Player rating's looking good if your name's George Pickering. 8.5. And then Johnny Yates. 8.0. That's interesting. They'll all get an upgrade at the end of this episode. I see no reason to change it. Albion Sports against Walkley Wanderers. Niall Johnson holds on, holds on. Johnny Yates. Oh, no. It's not a difficult chance to take there. We are lacking some quick feet, to be honest. These guys are feeling sluggish. Jason White wants it again. It's Jason White. That is how you put it in the bike of the Onion Bike. Captain knows best. Brookside's got enough in him to carry this ball and keep carrying it. Well played, George Pickering. Please let it go for a corner kick. Not even a corner kick for Walkley Wanderers. Not even a chance. Fans are getting a bit restless. I would be too if I was a home fan, seeing the opposition attempting intricate play in Albion Sports going for more root one stuff. Loose passes all over the place. End of this first half, commanding from Walkley Wanderers. Looking at Jason White here on the edge of the box to maybe score a brace. Honestly, lads, I get the feeling that this group of players are coming to the end of their life cycle. They're at the point where I can push no further. I think Noodle's at my door wanting to come in. We're winning, yet I'm not very happy with how we're playing. The lack of movement, the lack of urgency, the lack of understanding, knowledge, Football IQ. Sometimes feel the best way of getting through there is just to smash it from 25 yards and hope they go wide. Now we're in serious bother. It's offside. Noodle, can you hear me? Waba. Let us go. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's going mental. Waba. Justice for Lewandowski, by the way, for not getting the uh, Ballon d'Or that he deserves this year because they've cancelled it. Yeah, Waba. Let us go. I'll get you in in a second, mate. I've got five minutes left of this game and then you can come in. Fantastic Mr. George Pickering holding on to this ball, running down the clock and then putting the afterburners on. This is what we want to see from a, a Walkley Wanderers player, the heart and determination of George Pickering. He's killed extra time. It's going to be a 1-0 victory. Oh, man, we love a good old 1-0 victory here. Walkley Wanderers, six points out of six. Yeah, we'll be upgrading everyone. Man of the match was Jason White. Might leave the decision up to you. Do we carry on with these players or do you think we've gone on a ride with these guys, but we've taken them as far as we possibly can? Of course, we've had some mighty old struggles in this division. They're getting to the point now where they've got to be as old as me, like late 20s. Personally, I think some fresh blood would help, would revitalize the entire club. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Noodle Squad Legends. It's Yorkshire Amateur against Walkley Wanderers, your final game of this episode. Go, 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 go! Come on, Sammy Birch, please! Run! I swear he was quicker than this. Yes, Sammy Birch! 1 0 Walkley Wanderers! Oh man, I am struggling. We are fighting desperately to get every single goal with this club. I'd like to think that maybe the departure of Miles Loft has left a few broken hearts because it was such a, a tight-knit group of players. I get the feeling that there's like an overall negative response from the AI. They see the overall of my team. Notice that they are higher now. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, Yorkshire Amateur can pass around like prime Barcelona. I can't lob a ball to Niall Johnson to save my life. All to play for. Gotta keep my head. Try and keep as composed as possible. This one has been tough. I'm even thinking about clattering into someone to get the subs on. They've been waiting on the sideline for about 15 minutes. A few minutes to see our one point turn into three or our three points turn into zero that was too close for comfort minimum of two added minutes so we're going to get the ball back in that time absolutely not battersby just missed it and then there's a megs we nearly conceded that's your match awful i'm telling you lads 
After this promotion, let's get these guys gone. We've had a journey with them. They've carved out a semi-professional footballing career. But for us to eventually get into the Football League, we need more. Even though the writing's on the wall, JJ has been phenomenal since the call-up back into the first team. George Pickering has been a bright spark. It's disappointing, really, because I thought the changes that we made with Niall Johnson coming into the first team would really boost the entire squad and, and send them to the next level. That hasn't happened. Your player of the episode today is brought to you by Button Snowman. I have no doubts about this one. JJ, goalkeeper, needed to step into them big boots of Miles Loft. He was incredibly solid today. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you've not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.